it did a great disservice to law enforcement in Wisconsin. The Manitowoc County Sheriff says lies, rumors, and misconceptions about the case of Stephen Avery have left his department with a huge mess to clean up. Sheriff Robert Herman's office says they've been the target of threats and harassment ever since the release of Making a Murderer on Netflix. The deputy turned sheriff says viewers need to see the full case that convicted Avery of murder back in 2007. At the time of Avery's arrest, he had a pending $36 million lawsuit against Manitowoc County because he'd spent 18 years in prison for a rape that DNA evidence later proved he did not commit. Making a murderer suggests Avery was framed for Teresa Halbach's murder because of that pending lawsuit. Continuing tonight's coverage of the Stephen Avery case, the sheriff shares with Andrea Hay what the Netflix series left out and his message to its filmmakers. Emails and phone calls saying that we have a corrupt agency. Uh, um, you know, rotten health. Sheriff Robert Herman is taking heat for leaving the department he'd served on during the arrests of Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. But after watching Making a Murderer, Herman believes it's his department that was framed by the filmmaker. They could have put some type of disclaimer on it saying that uh, this is one point of view, but they didn't. They were there for the money. They should be ashamed of themselves. Herman says the series leaves out that Avery's sweat DNA was used to convict him, leading people to think blood DNA was planted by police. DNA, which wasn't from blood, that was found under the hood of Teresa Halbach's vehicle that matched Stephen Avery. DNA on the key that was not blood evidence to the bullet was shot out of his gun and the DNA on the bullet matched Teresa Halbach. Their uh, theory just doesn't stand. Herman says the series unfairly portrays his department as enemies of the Averys when just days ago the Averys called them to assist with a trespasser on their property. Herman believed Calumet County needed help with their investigation 11 years ago, but he wouldn't have done it if he could go back in time. If we would have known that that was the defense um, going in, that they're going to claim we planted evidence, it would have been much better for us not to have our people involved at all. Andrea Hay, Action 2 News.